Hi guys! In the previous video we've installed Google API system image and Android virtual device with Google services but the problem is we don't have Google Play Store and today I will show you how to install Google Play Store as well. So make sure you have this Google API system image uh, which I have selected on my screen. Then let's click tools manage AVDs. Here you need to have your device created already uh, based on Google API and you need to remember the device name uh, in my case I have device 7 now let's close it let's close the manager I will clear screen and first of all before we'll start doing anything open up the browser and I will show you what you need to download. In search bar, type in G apps, press enter, and then open the first link, which is open G apps project. Here you need to select your platform. In particular, I have x86. Also, you need to select proper Android, which is 7.1 in my case. And here you just need to choose the smallest format of the file. I choose Pico, which is enough. And it is only 74 megabytes. Then click download. The file will be downloaded. I already have it downloaded before. And I will close the browser. Now let's start our virtual device by running this command dot slash android sdk tools emulator add and then your device name I, I have my name device 7 also you need to pass an option dash writable dash system and press enter the device will be started here I will open second tab, you can also open second terminal, it doesn't matter. And we will run some additional commands here. I will create temporary folder, let's say mkdir and then j7, which means japps for Android 7. And I'll copy downloaded archive to that folder. CP file path and then J7. I'll change directory again to G7. And let's unzip it by typing unzip and then file name. Let's get listing ls and here let's change directory again to core cd core let's get listing again here you need to extract tar.lz in order to do that uh, you need to install additional package which is lzip by typing sudo apt-get install lzip i already have it installed so i will just extract files from it by typing tar dash x x v f and then file name which is vending all tar dot lz press enter and from this archive i need only this apk file and let's change directory to home and then let's move that file to home directory by typing cp g7 core and then the rest of the path and copy it over here to the current directory let's get listing now let's change directory to android sdk by typing cd android sdk 
and change directory again to platform tools cd platform dash tools and now we are ready to start our commands in particular let's do this type dot slash adb and then shell press enter and now you are uh, in in the shell of your android device you can see you are not root so to get root just type in su and now we are root uh, now we need to do the following uh, because our file system is read only uh, we need to change it to uh, read and write so how to do that uh, type in command cat and then slash prods slash mounts then pipe symbol grab system we need to check one particular entry where our system uh, is mounted so now we can see where it is mounted so we can change it from read only uh, which is you can see here to read and write to do that type in mount dash o space and then r w comma remount space and simply copy these two first parameters the first one slash df slash block slash vda and the second one slash system press enter and let's check our file system now you can see it has been changed to read and write which is good also here you can check this folder which is slash system slash brief dash app and you can see all uh, packages that installed on android in particular you can see google login service google services framework and also the last one which is required the minimum requirements for google services uh, which is pre-built gms core in addition to that now we will push uh, our package uh, which is uh, which we've just extracted uh, with the name phone sky and we will push it over here in the same directory so let's do it i will log out from the shell by hitting ctrl d and then hit ctrl d again and let's push the file by typing a uh, similar command slash uh, dot slash adb push and then path to the file from the home directory and then uh, i forgot again phone sky phone sky dot apk and where we want to push it we want to push it to slash system slash priv dash app and slash at the end press enter you can see permission denied but we can fix it easily by uh, changing our adb to root uh, type in dot slash adb root and it will be started as root let's run the same command uh, dot slash adb push then path to your file apk and then path to uh, path on android device which is system brief app press enter and we've just pushed our file onto android now we can restart it i i will type dot slash atb stop oops sorry dot slash adb shell stop 
dot slash idb shell start and our android device will be restarted you can also simply close it and open but these commands are faster so i tap them in and let's wait for the android to be started and now let's check our apps on the android i'll click this button and it is wrong sorry not the right button i'll click another one and let's scroll it down here you can see we have now play store which is great it works i'll click on it and let's wait so it will be started you can see it is working now and we don't have any user I will enter my email and password and then I will get back soon. I have just entered my password and email and now I have my Google Play which is working in Android emulator and for example I can select some applications and will try to install it by clicking install. Unfortunately not all applications work in here. Uh, Oops, I'll open up again, sometimes it happens, it was closed unexpectedly, I'll try to install it, accept, yeah so overall it works fine, at least we have now our, our Google Play Store. Also, in addition to this video, I will create blog post and you will find the link uh, below this video. I hope this was useful for you and see you next time.